used to own a But it feels like it has. It's only been a couple days since I said, remember, I said I was gonna be gone, eh? So now I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back with another video today. Um, today I'll be showing you guys how I tie Gele. Get for those who don't know, Gele is, is the Gele is a traditional head attire. That Nigerians wear. I don't know what it's called in other countries, but Nigeria's Nigeria is called Gele. So let's get into it. No more talking, okay? Too much talking is not good for the soul. Let's just get into it. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. <laughs> All right. So basically, what I'm doing is what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> I am going to start tying. From the front rather than the back just because the material is a little bit more tough I normally would do it from the back but I just change it up today so I'm going to go ahead and place it on my head just to frame my face as um, just to frame my face to where I would like it to stay and then I go ahead and wrap around either side around my head and I make sure that I have a heavy grip on it because this is going to be the first layer and I would like the first layer to be very strong so it you know should be you know because you don't want it to fall off you know you're dancing shocking your head just collapse on the floor it's not okay so from here on I am going to wrap it around my head bringing the one side around my head completely and then the other one so right now I'm doing that to just that, like I said, as I'm doing, I'm doing it now. Still having a heavy, not heavy, a tight grip on either side so that it doesn't fall apart because this is practically our foundation of the head tie. So yes, go ahead and go ahead and do it. Do it very well. Hey, secure, secure, unite, you got it. So as I've done that now, I'm going to go ahead and turn around and tie up the back. Now, whenever I tie my head tie, I like to do two knots or two ties. I don't know, they're called knots, I don't know. I like to tie it twice, so it's very, very secure. The first one, I'm gonna make sure I feel it like this, eh? I said, tie it tight, let there be no circulation. No circulation in your head again. Just kidding, don't tie it that tight, I don't want you to pass out. But tie it <laughs> tight enough as to where you feel comfortable and yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. Here comes the fun part, which I think is a fun part. Styling of the head tie. I like to firstly... Wait, what am I doing? Okay, no. First, well, I guess here I'm folding it. Okay, I like to recreate folds. You know, just to create dimension and just to make it look like, you know, the classic gele. You know, the the normal gele that everyone ties nowadays, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, so yes, I'm creating my own folds, making sure they're aligned properly, I just want it to lay flat on my head, I don't want it to be too bulky, and yes, that's what I'm doing right now, right now, creating folds, making sure that it all is not symmetrical because it's not going to be perfect Sha, but just enough that when you see it you'll say ah this one she tried and then she tried Sha. so that's what i'm doing here <laughs> So here I am still creating more folds, but I'm also trying to fan out the outer, outer layer. You know, the classic way it always looks on the edges. So that's what I'm doing. Trying to make it look like, you know, like the Nama kind of gele, you know? <laughs> so yes, that's what I'm doing here. Trying to fan it out and just perfect any places that I think needs perfecting. Balance for me. Cause nobody can love you like I do Nobody can touch you like I do 
Nobody can love you like I do Nobody can touch you like I do I my first um gele tying tutorial whatever it's supposed to be called so i don't know anyway <laughs> but um yes i just want to put a video out for you guys because i know it's been a minute i am in the process of moving that's why everything is looking kind of crazy in the background just ignore it focus on me okay focus upon me uh anyway um if you guys did like this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a nice little comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless you all and have a blessed Christmas and rest of the year.